I'm Chris Caffer with Tampa RV, one of the Airstream certified experts. What we have here is we're in the brand new Airstream uh, 27 FB Twins, uh, and it's a Globe Trotter. So brand new, it's got modern European styling with very rounded corners on this right here. So if you open up these overhead storage bins right here, that you're probably kind of familiar with how they looked. They had, they're lit inside. Something else that Airstream did now, and they asked their consumers, they had people go out there every year, a couple times a year, and they talk to them, what is it that they like? So here, if I've got my phone in there, and I don't know where it is, there's a mirror right here that helps you see it. So the cool thing about that is not everybody is, is real tall, and you don't necessarily need to look up there, but if you're a little bit shorter, you can easily see what's in there. So that's something that Airstream listened to their customers. They've upgraded their hinges in here and reinforced the doors to really give an elegant, uh, modern um, appeal to this, but also still have the Airstream quality. And this right here, you have Cori upgraded Corian countertops right here with a nice rectangular stainless steel tank and very modern uh, appliances. This is a sprayer as well. Works really nice. And then you have the uh, nice opening. Here you also have two bins and they're not necessarily trash bins you can use these for anything from storing vegetables uh, storing your cooking utensils uh, or even putting kitchen scraps in after you've cut everything so that's certainly nice and another thing about Airstream that uh, a lot of people don't know is that all these windows right here and, and, and the doors are extruded aluminum. They're put on there, they average about 3,500 rivets. And each rivet requires two people, one on the outside, one on the inside, to put it together. So uh, no other travel trailer in the world is built as good as an Airstream. Um, they're absolutely the best, been in business since 1931. So you can see that extruded aluminum right here. They use rivets on everything. And in the Globetrotter, they're starting to add some of the nice modern conveniences of having the indirect lighting that kind of glows and it really feels kind of space agey in here. I really like it. We've got the Barcelona blue color scheme with this and the nice gray. They've also maximized the amount of drawer space that you have in this. So this right here goes around the drain area but you get all this ability here to uh, have storage. Usually you'll have cabinets here, but here you have this beautiful drawer. They've also upgraded the appliances on this. So you have a beautiful flat surface right here with a three burner propane. And I'll give you a hint, no matter what travel trailer you're in, this right here is always gonna be, they have the highest BTUs coming out of that. So if you wanna boil water or something, this is where you wanna do it. Being a former cook in the Navy, I definitely wanna make sure I cook well. Uh, this then tees off to these, and that's really great to set up a griddle right there if you wanna make pancakes or scrambled eggs or if you eat meat, uh, uh, bacon as well. And then they have a really nice stove in here too. So really nice equipment. But then, we're not done. In here you have a microwave cooks anything that you need to cook that you can fit in there. You've got extra storage in here. Um, I guess the child right. lost their lollipop. <laughs> <laughs> so a little pantry area here. And then here you also have a small little storage space as well. So Airstream is trying to maximize the amount of storage that they have for their customers. This is your, a lot of people ask what these are. This is your 110 um, in your uh, 12 volt. So you've got circuit breakers and fuses since uh, most uh, travel trailers and even motorhomes will run on 110 or 12 volt. 12 volt would be your battery and 110 would be like from your generator or from your short uh, power. This is an upgraded Dometic refrigerator right here. Really beautiful, very super efficient. You can certainly get a lot of food in there to maximize your ability to camp with more fun, less hassle. A little bit more uh, storage up here. Something else new in the Globetrotter that they did and that they don't have in other ones is they put an articulating arm in here, which really is nice if you're uh, needing to change the view of where you're looking at it from. And they're able to do that by putting this nice uh, um, fascia on here. You also have a USB charging port, so you can put your phone or tablet in there and have it charged as well. But there's even more. This opens up right here to make it into a bed. So we've got some extra cushions uh, that we store back here. They lay right here. You can also put this, you can put this down as well. And so you have this large area to sleep. So you could easily sleep two full-size adults on this and still have extra room for you. A 
Now you've got the Viewmaster windows right here. If it's a little sunny, you can just put those up real easily, bring them down. We've got a uh, sky shade right here. This opens and shuts real easily. You also have this nice, fantastic fan. You see this little water droplet right here? What that tells you is that if it starts to rain, it has a sensor on it, and that will shut it for you so as to not allow rain to come in. You also have a adjustment, so if it gets too hot uh, in here, it will open up that and start it automatically. So if you leave Fluffy in here while you're going on a, a little hike with your uh, husband or wife, and you're worried about the dog getting uh, hot, well, guess what? It won't get hot because if it does get too hot, let's say your AC's off, it'll just open up and bring out some of that air for you. So it'll be certainly safe. So here we've got our storage right now. And right now we have the bed cushions for the front forward bed area, plus some extra pillows. Uh, if you don't plan on having anybody sleep there, of course you wouldn't need to bring that. Uh, and then usually what people, we find people do is if they're storing that, um, they can fill up this entire closet with their clothes, but they can store the cushions underneath the dining room table. Plenty of space, even for someone that's taller. So at six feet, I'll stand up in there so you can kind of see how much headroom I have. So I've got plenty of room right here. This does detach. There's also a little seat in here. So you can just sit down if you want to shave your legs, which I don't have to do, <laughs> but you can do that as well. Um, So here's something that's really interesting. A lot of people wonder uh, about twin beds. Twin beds are really awesome for a few reasons. First of all, if you don't just travel with your spouse, uh, let's say you're single um, and you want to have one of your buddies or your girlfriends come with you, uh, they can go ahead and have their own bed without having to break down the dinette. Anytime you have an Airstream that has a twin uh, bed, you're going to have external storage uh, cap capabilities for you. So here you have two compression locks right here opening up into some storage that is lit right here with an LED. So the reason why we would have twin beds in here is first of all, 60% of all Airstream customers buy the queen beds, but 40% buy twins. So I just talked to Tim Maxwell at Airstream. He gave me those uh, spe specific statistics. So I'll give you a couple of reasons why you might want that. Besides having external storage, uh, if you're let's say traveling with your your family but you don't always necessarily want to travel with your wife let's say for example had a customer who uh, was his daughter went to college so he wanted to go up there and visit her during the summertime so so he wanted to make sure that she had a bed of her own that she could sleep in and not be relegated to sleeping on the couch so that's one of the reasons why he did that um, for another thing is if you have uh, someone is suffering with restless leg syndrome it might not be as comfortable if you're the other person to sleep in that bed with them so having the twin beds you still have you can still sleep in the same room together but not have to annoy each other with that right there. So you have these comfortable beds. With the Airstream Globetrotter, what they're using is an upgraded tucked in needle mattress. Super comfortable. Uh, don't lay down on it because you'll fall asleep really quick. Um, you also have storage on the inside under here. And if you want to look see at the crisscross pattern that they put, if you can see that. Can you see that under there? Yeah. Um, so Air Airstream does everything. The reason they put that there is so that these glide out super easy. And you might wonder about this flooring that we have here. This flooring is a high-end PVC weave. It does not uh, accept stains. You can spill things on there. It's super easy to clean up. You can clean it up with a, just a sponge or, or a towel. And you can also sweep these out. You can use a Swiffer wet jet. Um, lots of different easy ways to clean this right here. So you've got more storage under here as well, identical to this, but on the opposite side of both of these right here, there's exterior storage that certainly helps with your camping experience. Um, this right here is all upgraded, equi uh, upgraded uh, sheet bedding right here. The pillows are so comfortable. Um, and then you have these sleek European styling. Now, if you want to come over here, if you can see, you've got 110 and USB outlets on both sides. So with that, that's obviously, if you want to charge your uh, tablet, your phone, you don't have to argue about who gets it, because guess what, whoever's on this side also has two 110 outlets and USB charging as well. Um, you've got rock guards on the front of this to open an Airstream window, super easy. These just come open. And then you just park them in right there and uh, you can open them that way. There is a rock guard that is up, which does provide kind of an awning experience for you as well. So. And then your cabinetry in here, you've got the same lit cabinets with the mirrors in the back. 
nice speakers everywhere throughout here, and you also get additional cabinet space in both of these. Okay. The lights are dimmable, so and they have a nice warm glow to them as well. Um, and then for a privacy curtain, you can go ahead and open that. And the bathroom, one thing that's nice, if you want to come back this way, that bathroom. So in the bathroom is really nice. So you can see the nice um, cabinetry that we offer. Plenty of storage back here as well. Awesome. Little toilet paper roller right here. More storage here, more storage here. And then look at the, this huge amount of storage you have up here as well. So everything is just so put together so nicely. There's a little fan back here and a fan in here that you just push that up, push the little red button, and it sucks out any smells that you probably didn't put in there in the first place. Yes, it's the tr it's static. static. Yeah, static. So there you go, another skylight right here that you can shut. And uh, something else about the airstreams themselves. Um, semi monocot construction, which means that the outside of the skin of the actual aluminum helps support the weight of this. What's a really remarkable air, airstream is that 60% of the weight of the vehicle is at or below the floorboard. Some people get afraid to, to, to tow things. Airstreams have the most towability of any, uh, any uh, uh, travel trailer that's out there. So I really encourage you, don't be afraid to, to try, try an airstream out. Um, the flooring on this right here is uh, a 5 8 inch tongue and groove plywood flooring, but it is uh, exposure element level one, um, which keeps the water away from it. They also put an anti-wicking coating around it as well, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, full aluminum extruded underneath it as well, so you have no uh, critters can't get up there, road debris can't get up there, so it's really amazing. Uh, best towability in, in the market. Thank you.